Well, we um, left Laverton um, probably about uh, just over an hour ago, and so far the uh, the road is actually quite good along this section. Well, this is the junction for the Amadilla Highway to Cooper PD. It's a long way though. We've probably got about 1,200 kilometres from here to get to Cooper PD. And uh, we've just come from Laverton down there. The road's been quite good so far, but um, the closer you get to Cooper PD, the worse the road gets. But look, we are well prepared here. I've got myself uh, a spare tyre on the roof. Got my um, Telstra booster aerial, my UHF radio aerial there. So, uh, yep, we'll be fine. And uh, we're just approaching uh, the ruins of an old homestead, so we might just stop there for a bit of a break and uh, take a few photos and have a look around. Well, the sun's going down, we've got the fire going and dinner's on. Eliza's busy there getting the veggies ready and yep. we've got the chicken fillets over here with Portuguese seasoning. They're going to be breadcrumbed and then we're going to sit back and just enjoy the sunset. Um, it's always a good idea to uh, let a bit of air out of your tyres when you get onto the um, the really rough corrugated sections of this track because um, if your tyres are at full pressure you're far more likely to get a puncture. Also, you know, you just get a bit of a smoother ride. We're just leaving our first campsite Oh wow, that was such a such a nice spot, and uh, we're heading towards a place called El Kirka, which is where we can get our first load of fuel. Um, it is a good idea to uh, constantly radio check here in case there's someone coming the other way. Uh, this is Kevin and Eliza travelling east on the Amadil Highway. Just ride for you, buddy. One more coming. the last one mate? Yeah copy that we are the last vehicle. Yeah. We have some uh, emus on the track up ahead. What a big crew. Come on guys get off the road. About 350 k's from Laverton and it's time for a coffee break before we head off towards El Kirka Roadhouse, which is where we get fuel. Been a bumpy journey so far, but from what I've heard, it gets a lot worse. But looking forward to it. So it, uh, this wreck here, this is um, unfortunately a fairly common sight around here. If you break down, uh, there's no one going to come and get you. So uh, it's not unusual to see vehicles just abandoned and um, this one's burnt out. But um, yeah, look, full bar on the front. There's a roof rack over there. Yeah, there's a story behind this. We're just taking a bit of a detour off the Amberdill Highway because um, about uh, seven or eight kilometers along this track, there's the wreckage of a Goldfields Air Services plane that came down in 1993. So we're just going to go down and have a look. A few sand dunes to cross coming this way.
Well, there you go. Uh, always check your fuel before you leave. This one, um, this Goldfields Airline plane in 1992 ran out of fuel and um, really did well to, to land it in the sand dunes here. But um, there was four people on board uh, and um, they were injured, no one was killed. So uh, they would have had to, have, I'd imagine, fly something out here to get them. I actually have a, a log book here inside this compartment where people can uh, register that they've been out here. Um, looks like we're the third lot of people out here today. Oh, this goes back to 2015. Kevin and Eliza.